your daily experience with the Holy Spirit. Born again by faith in Jesus Christ, you have received the gift from God, the Holy Spirit who dwells with you, giving you convincing experiences. The following are eight experiences that are your birthright as a baptized Christian. The Holy Spirit reminds you every day that you have become, by faith, a child of God. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit, that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs. You feel within you waves of love that God has for those who have put their hope in Jesus. Hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts, through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. God shows his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Instead of insisting on having things your way, you are learning to be moved by spiritual peace and joy from God. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Whoever thus serves Christ is acceptable to God, and approved by men. You have a new inner strength to love others while keeping yourself from carnal activities. Walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And those who belong to Christ Jesus, have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. You often feel a desire to commune intimately with God and with fellow believers. You, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith, and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, that leads to eternal life. The Holy Spirit at work in you gives you wisdom that overcomes the stupid ideas of the world around you. Look carefully how you walk, not as unwise but as wise. Making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery but be filled with the Spirit. The Holy Spirit distributes to you an ability to serve others by the things you do or the things you say. There are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of service, but the same Lord, and there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God, who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. When insulted, persecuted or condemned, you expect that the Holy Spirit of God will rest upon you. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. If anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, 